Salutations, failers. I'm playing Sam and Max. Abe Lincoln must die. Sam and Max is a point and click adventure game. And yeah, you gotta uh, do whatever. I got this game for free a while ago on this like PC Power Play disc. And now I got it for free again on Steam, which is pretty sweet. It's a pretty fairly old game, as you can see by the options. Not a lot of configuration, but yeah. Reborn. I will feast on your entrails and devour your soul. <laughs> you know, Max, sneaking the bug into that exorcism was an uncharacteristic stroke of genius. Demonic possession is the gift that keeps on giving. What? Oh, Commissioner. Uh, no, that was uh, Max's aunt. Yes, 14 packs a day. What's that? Yes. Yes? No. Yes? Sweet suffering Saint Sebastian on the sousaphone in a short story by Susan Sontag. We're on our way. Let me guess. Our friendly neighborhood demon just burnt down another monastery. No, Max. We have a far more bloodthirsty adversary this time. The President of the United States of America. Who? The man's gone nuts. He's enacting all kinds of crazy new laws. What else is new? Federally mandated group hugs before, during, and after all major sporting events. So? He's curtailing civil liberties, threatening the environment. Hey, that makes three of us. And he's about to introduce mandatory gun registration. Get the keys. I have to point out, Sam, that we could have avoided this gruesome accident if you just let me drive. And I have to point out that we could have avoided this gruesome accident if you hadn't jumped on my head shouting Jersey Devil, Jersey Devil and firing your gun out the window. I swear that woman was a dead ringer for him. Well, here we are, standing in an open field west of the White House. Let's go bring the hammer down on that so-called Commander-in-Chief. All right, let's see if I can remember the have site. Any golf balls? Nope. Please do not feed the submarine. <laughs> what can you feed a submarine anyway? Nothing. Weren't you listening? Hey, my missing boxing glove! It's always in the last place you look. The White House pool. Most secure waiting pool on Earth. Jimmy? Oh, great! What are you guys doing here? Oh, just saving the world. What are you doing here? I happen to take my vacations at the White House, and I need a little R&R. &R. Speaking of which, beat it. Room for rent. I guess the country really is hard up for cash. Valley parking, two dollars. Way to knock down that deficit. Hey, this phone only takes Susan B. Anthony dollars. It must be one of those stupid 555 phones. Yes, actually. 555-1984. Hey, Sam! Did I ever mention how I've memorized pi to 1,000 decimal places? It's 3.14159265358979... do you have a piece of paper handy? You want to write down the phone number? I remember the number. I want to write myself a reminder to smother you with a pillow in your sleep. Suspect yourself. That's so Madonna. Post no bills. I'm surprised this sign survived the Clinton administration.
Step aside, buddy. Freelance police. Just a moment, sir. Papa Bear, this is Super Bowl. Possible situation at the front door. Talking dog and uh, rabbit trying to gain access to the OO. Please advise over. Super Bowl? Yeah, that's a negative on the access permission, sir. I'll have to ask you and your little friend to step away from the White House. Doggy Daddy, this is Loose Cannon. Request permission to pants this goon. Over. Before we try physical violence, Max, let's try dazzling the man with our razor-sharp wit and labyrinthine logical conundrums. Ah, emotional violence. Good plan. Hmm. What should I make him say? Did you call yourself Super Bowl? Did you call yourself Super Bowl? Code name, sir. I'm a bouncer. Secret Service humor. And who's Papa Bear? Section Chief. Runs the operation. Protects the president. Oh! Super Bowl! I get it! Don't you get bored guarding this door? It's a rewarding job, sir. Doing my part. Keeping the president safe. Hey, Super Bowl! I'd like you to smell these two handkerchiefs and tell me which one smells more like chloroform. Not now, Max. I want to talk to your manager. No can do, sir. He's with the president. Let us in, pal. We're freelance police. Here to save the president. I thought we were here to stop the president by any means necessary. I was going to wait to mention that part, Max. Either way, sir, you can't get inside. Orders. Seriously, Jack, let us in. It's a yeah, national I emergency. Need. No can do, sir. Hmm, it's going to be tougher than I thought to trick this goon and get inside. I heard that, sir. And it's going to be impossible. Hey, no fair. You're not supposed to listen to casual asides. It's in the job description, sir. Report all stage whispers, soliloquies, and casual asides to the proper authorities. Curse them! They've thought of everything! Finest security force in the world, sir. Wait, soliloquy is an actual word. <laughs> I want to talk to your manager. No can do, sir. He's with the president. I've had enough of this. Papa Bear, this is Super Bowl. Perp's exiting zone four now. Seem disgruntled. Stay on the lookout. Over. Now can we push him down and beat him with sewage-filled garbage bags until he runs crying into the reflecting pool? Tempting, Max. But these Secret Service guys hold a grudge. Your name here. For naming rights to this building, Please contact the Office of Desperation Accounting. Oh boy! Can we, Sam? Please? We'll see, little buddy. Hmm. White paint, Christmas lights, and a small barbecue. Everything somebody would need to renovate, decorate, and then accidentally burn the place to the ground. Later, Max. Later. There is a small mailbox here. Ah, uh, it's one of those ornamental mailboxes that doesn't actually open. Well, that's government efficiency for you. Oh, yeah, I think I remember what happens when you click on that. Hold on. The first to hit him. Okay, let's go. Hey, Max, get back here. I want to hit you. Where are we going, Sam? Back, to, Back the to the office. I'll drive! Not while I'm alive. Exactly! Tampering with the mail is a federal offense, punishable by fine and imprisonment. As we found out after the incident with the garden hose. Ah, memories. Lefty's tool rental shop is still vacant. Remember that afternoon when I put on a baseball cap and spent hours out here playing fizzball with Lefty? If you mean that night when you put on a hockey mask and spent hours chasing Lefty down the street with a chainsaw, then yes. Precious memories. 
Give me all you got. It's the Army's new recruiting slogan. That's a lot better than their old one. What are you, chicken? Gonna cry now, baby? Apparently, there's no room in the military budget for quality adhesives. Alright, got myself a free poster. Spin the Bottle Championship is coming up. I like when they do the sudden death round with the Molotov cocktails. We should go to Switzerland sometime, Max. Nah, they always jip you on the cheese. It's like half air. Do you like taking in some pro wrestling? I think I've seen that one. Oh. Tempting sometimes, but I've become fond of the little guy. Alright, I'll just shoot that little plate. Oh, never mind. Okay, I guess we'll go to the good ones now. Hey, Sybil. What's new in the world of frequent random career reassessment? Hi, fellas. I'm really excited. I found the perfect job for me. You don't say. That's right. I, Sybil Pandemic, am now a professional matchmaker. I thought I smelled phosphorus. I thought I smelled that joke coming down the turnpike, burning oil and dragging its muffler. It's a dating service, Max. I figured that if a smart, successful career woman like me could be having so much trouble finding a date, there must be plenty of other people who could use help. Could you find dates for Max and me? Seriously? I mean, sure. Why not? Stranger things have happened, I guess. They must have. Somewhere. I'm choosing not to be offended by that. What do we need to do? It's easy. Just submit an application. What's next on the career horizon? Next? This is it. What could be a better job than helping people find their perfect match? Volcano God. Good point. I'll stick to the dating business, though. How many couples have you managed to escort to romantic bliss? So far, none. None is the loneliest number. But I've got a feeling things will start to pick up after the holidays. All that stress makes for a lot of messy breakups. And a lot of people looking for romance on the rebound. So we have something to look forward to. You're having trouble finding your soulmate? You don't know the half of it. It seems like all the guys I meet are total losers. No offense. None taken. Hey! Or else they're borderline psychopaths. No offense. None taken. It's the borderline cases you have to watch out for. What kind of stuff is on this application? The usual. Your best traits and what kind of person you're looking for. Hooks for hands. Hooks for hands! When you're done, I'll put the application into my computer, which analyzes your personality matrix at 15 essential compatibility points. I don't have a personality matrix so much as a personality vector. Once we've found a match, you call your date and agree on a time and place. Let me help you guys out. Tell me your good points and what you're looking for in a date. She should love animals. Such as the elusive praying mantis, whose deadly but enthralling mating rituals she mimics. You really know how to ruin the mood, Max. Oh, and cybernetic implants, like an elbow that can connect to the internet. She should have an air of mystery. Making frequent passing mention to her time on the chain gang, but when pressed, revealing nothing. That's all I can think of. Oh, that's plenty. Now I'll just put your applications into the computer. And there it is. Max, it says your perfect match is... Cybernetic laser eyes. Oh, please, oh, please, oh, please. Well, that's interesting. It says your perfect match is Sam. <laughs> Disturbing. And yet somehow not completely unexpected. And Sam, your ideal soulmate is... Wait for it. Max. Well, there goes another blow to the concept of a fair and just universe. 
Hey, Sam, what do you say we never ever speak of this again? Way ahead of you, little buddy. See you around, Sybil. What tiki? I wonder what future archaeologists will learn from our most sacred treasure. That you can watch 250 channels and there's <laughs> still nothing good on. I've got half a mind to stretch out for a little bit. I think you have to stretch the whole thing or it rips. You baffle me sometimes, Max. All right, I guess I'll just go back to the office now. That's a terrifying keeper box. Whee! <laughs> That's funny to do every day. One way. Every time. One way, dead end. Street signs are such fitting metaphors for the human condition. Remind me to refill your prescriptions. Who are you calling, Sam? Mr. Pizza, two medium pineapple and asbestos pies, please. Oh, yeah? Well, same to you, jerk. What'd he say? Thank you, and have a nice day. Who are you calling, Sam? The White House. White House, Agent Super Bowl speaking. Have you checked the baby? Yes, sir, sleeping soundly. Oh, good job, then. Who are you calling, Sam? The White House. White House, Agent Super Bowl speaking. We've got two very special agents coming to the White House today. One is tall, well dressed, and devilishly handsome, and the other is Max. Grant them full clearance, over. Can't do that without approval form signed in triplicate, sir. Regulations. Who are you calling, Sam? The White House. White House, Agent Super Bowl speaking. All right. Hello, please hold. Roger that. Our phone bill is sure going to be expensive this month. It's okay, Max. I've been paying them out of your retirement fund. Hello, is anyone there? Is anyone there? Let's go back to the White House. Whoa, look, Max. It's our favorite cultish crackpot, Hugh Bliss. Hi, I'm Hugh Bliss. I want to buy something. Take my credit card. Put me on your mailing list. Anyone you want me to recruit? You're supposed to give the Stockholm Syndrome a few days to kick in, Max. Who has that kind of time? What was your book about again? Emetics? The Handbook for Multicolored Happiness? It's about everything. And nothing at all. Oh. Show us a magic trick, Hugh Bliss. Magic is easy when the colors of your soul are... Yeah, yeah, less chatter, more magic. Okay, how about I disappear? Well, your mind reading is obviously still working. It is! <laughs> now watch me as I vanish. Except you won't be able to watch me because I'll be gone. I couldn't do that, Sam. Could we? I can't shoot you, Bliss. Max would never forgive me. Been a while. Been a while since I President appoints action figure as Secretary of Defense. That is pretty crazy. Well, at least it was an action figure of John Shaft. Oh, I can dig it. Non-mafia owned casino destroyed by mysterious explosion. Mysterious? I gave my name to reporters and even posed for pictures. Sometimes blowing something up is its own reward, pal. Whee! Remember our old car, Max? I said I was sorry. <laughs> Alright, for sure we're gonna go to the house. 
Washington. I'm gonna go inside and go meet the president. Where are we going, Sam? We're off to the White House. Oh boy! Hello. Is anyone there? Hello. 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 Can't talk now. I'm on the phone. Sorry for interrupting. Hello. Is anyone there? Hello. Well, there's no one at the door. Hello. Is anyone there? Hello. Yeah. Now, a lot of these same folks will say that we're wrong for introducing this federal pudding embargo. They envy our freedom. I ask you, what have they got to hide? Unless they're secretly sitting on stockpiles of pudding, and oh yes, we will find them. They've got nothing to be afraid of. So in conclusion, America, get your back up off the wall. Dance, come on, marzipan and good night. It's worse than we thought, Max. He's crazier than a caffeine-addled dingo in an Adelaide maternity ward. I think he makes a lot of good points. Those puddings are trying to steal our jobs. And I especially like how he does that spinny thing with his eyes. By the whiskey-soaked beard of Ulysses S. Grant, that's it. The president's not crazy. He's been hypnotized. We've got to snap him out of it, Max, and pronto. How do we do that again? We hit him over the head, like we do with all hypnotized people. Oh, yeah! No, oh, no. God damn it, Super Bowl. Well, yeah, I think we'll stop it there. Hmm. Can I stay in one meal? Thank you.